Hi, and welcome back to this new video about YubiKey, where I'm going to show you how you can use your uh, YubiKey in your GitHub account to have a more secure experience of using your GitHub account with a secure hardware backed up SSH key. As I did in the previous video, I'm going to show you everything in a remote desktop connection just to show you that if you are using Windows or remote desktop connection, you can have a fully experience for your YubiKey inside your remote machine where you are connected to. And in this time, we are going to show how you can clone and interact with your repository using an SSH key. This is not a new thing in Git. And if you are a long-term Git user, you can remember when at the very first days of GitHub, you usually will access your repository with an SSH key. And then after years after years, the preferred support uh, protocol supported was HTTPS. So usually when you press clone, you got your this nice HTTPS.github.com blah, 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 or that you can use directly with your git clone command. But if you press SSH, you can look at a new way of cloning and interacting with your GitHub repository. And the URL of the repository is different. It starts with git at github.com. And this type of access is made with the SSH protocol. And it is especially useful if you are using your repository in a shared computer or in a computer that is not fully secure. Remember, when you clone or interact with a repository in GitHub, usually you enter the credential for the first time and maybe after some month of usage. This means that your Windows operating system is caching, it's storing securely the credential inside what is called credential manager in Windows. But this means that if someone gonna have access to your Windows and it's able to log in inside your Windows account, they can interact with your GitHub repository using your cached credential. So let's see how SSH is different. Now I'm showing you again how to create a key inside, an SSH key inside your YubiKey. And I'm suggesting you to look at my previous video about SSH. And this is just to show you that I can create a, a SSH key even if I'm inside a remote desktop machine. Now I proceed to create an SSH key on my YubiKey directly in my machine in which I'm connected with the remote desktop. Uh, this is usually not the best option because uh, the remote desktop connection does not fully support all the options. But for a standard key, uh, using the standard um, command of SSH uh, kgen dash t and the name of the key. Remember the dash sk is used to specify an hardware key. You can press this. You can uh, press OK to authorize the access to your key. You can type your pin, press button, and then it asks you uh, the name of the key. You can left the default one and you can choose a passphrase. So the passphrase is usually used to encrypt your private key. And in case of a key stored inside your physical YubiKey, you can even go passwordless because actually the real key is stored inside your YubiKey. So you can even choose not to give a password. In this situation, I've gave a really simple password just to show you how you can uh, use the default option. Now, inside your home folder, uh, folder called .ssh appear and you have the public key and you can open, you can press open with and you can open with notepad. And this is indeed your uh, public, uh, public key. And you're going to copy this inside your GitHub account just to confirm, to tell GitHub that this public key correspond to a private key you have access to. And this can verify your identity. You can just copy all the text of your public key. Remember, the public key is the file that ends with .pub. You can go to the setting of your account. And if you scroll down, you have a section called SSH and GPG case. You can press this one and you can go to the SSH key section and you can uh, 
add a new SSH key. So you can give a theta title, it is a demo, and I'm pressing the, I, I'm just passing the content of the public key. So the key type is authentication key or signing key. So in this situation, use authentication key because it's the option you really want. And you can press add SSH key. And now GitHub knows that this SS key, the public version, the public uh, part of this key correspond to a private key you have in your hand. So it can be used to verify your access through SSH protocol. Go into one of your repository again, and when you press code and choose SSH as protocol, the warning that you have no SSH key has vanished. Now you can really copy the URL and use it to clone the repository in a uh, location of your hard drive. Now you can clone your repository as you clone with HTTPS protocol. Just git clone and the the address of the repository, you press enter and it is asking you if you recognize the authenticity of GitHub. And this show you the first reason why SSH is more secure than HTTPS protocol. As you can see, if you take the fingerprint of the key, this SSH256 plus DI, blah, 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 and you search in the internet or you know the URL where GitHub published their public key, you can see that indeed this key match. So this is important because it gives you the 100% confirmation that the other part of the party is GitHub and no one is intercepting your traffic with a man in the middle. Because if someone hijack your DNS and trick you inside in, in, into connecting its own server, they cannot present you with the public key that GitHub has because to present you the, this public key, it means that they have private corresponding private key. So the first advantage of connecting with a SSH protocol is mutual authentication. GitHub will know who you are, but you are sure that the other part is really and indeed GitHub. Since I verify that the fingerprint is okay, I can tell yes continually and I can uh, now pass my passphrase and I need to touch my key and my presence is confirmed. So the good part is I was able to verify that GitHub is indeed GitHub and GitHub verified that I have my private key inside my YubiKey. Now the question is why you want to use SSH in 2023 for your GitHub repositories? Well, First of all, you have mutual authentication. SSH protocol really gives you the ability to verify that the other part is really GitHub. So you are sending your code somewhere and you want to be sure that when you push your code or pull your code, the code really comes from GitHub. And SSH protocol is an industry standard secure protocol that can give you this certainty. 100% you are secure, you're connecting to GitHub upon verification of the public. The second advantage is when you use a computer that is used by many person or uh, they cannot be um, completely secure because when you use an SSH key stored inside your physical YubiKey to actually use the SSH protocol, you need to have physically your YubiKey in your hand and connected to your computer. So even if you are using a shared computer, even if you forget to delete your private and public key from the computer before leaving, those files are not useful, cannot be used without your physical key. So you can choose a not super hard to for, uh, remember password for your private key file because the private key file is not useful if you don't have physical YubiKey in your possess. And all the demo I did in this video were done into a machine, into a Windows machine I've connected with remote desktop. So if you are a Windows user, and you extensively use a uh, remote desktop to access a remote machine, and you need to use that remote machine to access your GitHub repository. Having an SSH key using SSH protocol with your YubiKey is probably the most secure way you can use and the easiest one. You can just uh, remote desktop to your machine, interact with Git, fetch and push, 
And each time you interact with the server, you uh, have the guarantee that the server is indeed GitHub and you have a guarantee that no one can use your authentication in that machine if they have not your, uh, if they does not have your physical key. And this concludes the video on how you can have a more secure interaction with your GitHub repository using SSH key stored inside your YubiKey. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm waiting you to the next one video. Bye-bye.